Hi Watts. Uh, welcome to my weight loss documentary. Today is April 16th, 2014, day 36 of the journey. Uh, if you're just now tuning in to these videos, um, I'm on the second half of, of the weight loss. You know, I've been working on losing weight for over five months now. So I'm on the second half of that five, six month period. So you won't, you'll see a lot of videos posted for the weight loss documentary, but you might not see as many as you think there should be for someone who's working on losing weight. But it's also depending on how much weight a person is trying to lose. Again, today is day 36, April 16, 2014. I'm so happy because the shirt you see me wearing, I couldn't wear this shirt like over a month ago. Like my stomach was too uh, far out. And I'm barely, you know, I'm letting my stomach just hang out there, you know. Whereas before, my stomach was out there. I know it's hard to believe, you know, because I'm not really a, a big guy. Well, some people say I'm big, but when I go to the gym and I see guys this tall and that wide, I'm like, they're really big. But anyway, uh, as every video, my goal is to motivate, encourage, inspire you to believe in yourself that you... You sitting in that chair who clicked this video can lose as much weight as you want and you can keep it off. You just have to form daily lifestyle habits. And every video, I try to bring you guys fitness and nutrition education so that you guys can uh, uh, learn and incorporate new habits into your life by me sharing with you guys some of the things that I'm doing, like eating breakfast every day. Don't skip breakfast. You gotta eat breakfast if you wanna lose weight. Do your research, go to Google, but you gotta eat breakfast. Cause breakfast is what kicks your metabolism up. That's oatmeal with some raisins. That's what kicks your metabolism up. Remember your metabolism is like a fire. It's like a, your, your, your metabolism is like a choo-choo train. You know when you see those old school movies, those westerns, the throwing charcoal into the into the tr into the train engine, or you, you have a fireplace, you're throwing wood into the fireplace. Well, food is like charcoal. Food is like wood, and our body is like a fireplace. It's like the choo choo train. You know, it's like an in it's like a car engine. You see what I'm saying? So if you don't, if you have to put the right kind of food in your body so that your engine works right. That's the best way I can describe metabolism. Here you guys can see some oranges I made or cut up. So I'm having oranges and oatmeal give me some energy. Get my day started. I like to have some protein, you know. I'm supposed to have protein in the morning too. That helps out. Get to have a little protein, whatever. Some leftover chicken, rotisserie chicken I chopped up. Because protein helps build the muscle and it helps uh, it helps keep your, what does it do? It helps keep your body from taking away the, uh, it just helps build muscle. Muscle burns fat. Do your research. Protein is good for you. And it um, keeps you fuller so that you don't crave and want junk and whatnot. So anyway, food is like wood for the fireplace. But in order for your fireplace, your metabolism to work right, you have to put the right kind of food in. And you have to put food in regularly, every three, four hours. So by putting in healthy food and working out, you now are revving up your metabolism, telling your body to go into fat burn mode. And that's what eating healthy and eating uh, exercising does. It's telling your body, go into fat burn mode, stay lean, stay uh, uh, functional. Because if you really think about it, when we work out, your body doesn't know that you want to look nice and have see muscle, it's, your body's not doing that. You gotta think of it more of a primal thing. Cause you gotta think, our ancestors used to walk around with sticks and stones and spears and crap like that, you know what I'm saying? So when we uh, lived and we were uh, hunting, hunting gatherers, going back way back in the day, I like to do that too because I like to watch this guy named Elliot Hulse, check out his videos, Yo Elliot. Uh, and uh, strength camp. So yo, Elliot, Elliot Hulse and strength camp. Check that guy. It's real funny, real entertaining, fitness type guy. So uh, he's out of Florida. Uh, so what I'm saying is, you got. Whenever I think about my body and I think about the new things I'm learning when it comes to nutrition and fitness, 
I'm starting to realize that everything comes back or goes back to the ancestors. You know, when you look at certain societies and look at certain cultures, if it's cold, they're usually chubbier and fatter because they need that fat to keep them warm. You know, when you look at Eskimos, why do you always see chubby Eskimos and then they got the little fur and feather on them? Because they live somewhere cold, so they ate a lot of fattening. And they, what they, ate, they probably ate a lot of the fat out of the whales and the fish that they caught. You know, whereas maybe in other societies, they might have trimmed it off, you know what I'm saying, or not eaten it. Or even if they would have eaten it, they lived in a warmer climate, so they were more active, so they stayed leaner. Whereas Eskimos, they put on more fat, they only went and got their food and went right back to their, you know, their little igloo or whatever they went back to, you know what I'm saying? Whereas if you're in a warm climate, you're constantly moving, constantly moving. So people from those regions stayed leaner because they had to be moving. Their, their food was everywhere. Like, okay, the gazelles went 20 miles this way, and then you got to carry it back. Whereas the freaking Eskimos just get in a boat, throw some harpoons into the ice, you know, or, or, or break some ice or find a br or opening the ice. Boom, catch some fish, catch some whale, bring it back. They didn't, it probably wasn't as fit. I'm, I'm not saying not catching a whale wasn't hard, but what I'm saying is it didn't require as much being on your feet, walking around, traveling to go find food. So what I'm saying, and being in a colder co uh, climate, your bodies had to hold on to fat more to stay warmer. People from the warmer climates, they were more active, they moved around. Now, I technically haven't done my research on this, this is just my theory. But if you think about it, it really makes sense, you know, so Google what I'm saying and see if it's true. I'm going to do my further research, but I was just watching Science Channel yesterday and they were talking about the different ethnicities of people, you know, people from warm places, you know, people start off in the African region of the world and people were darker, you know, be it African Americans, you know, uh, and then people who moved to like the Indian, uh, moved to India. They stayed dark because they moved to a darker climate. People went to South America, uh, different parts of Africa, out of the central part of Africa where they say everything started, the cradle of civilization or whatever it's called, or what they call it. People who kept going to the, uh, to the hotter regions, um, they, they stayed dark. And people who went to Europe and Greece and Spain and moved up into Europe, they got lighter. People in the hotter regions stayed dark because, or were dark because the sun was hotter, so the skin got darker to protect from all the, uh, the I don't want to say radiation, but it protect it was protecting against the sun because the sun was so hot. I forget why dark skin protects from the sun, but if you ever see most dark people, they don't get skin cancer, they don't get skin burn because it's natural, it's natural armor from the intensity of the sun. Yes, we need sun, but if the sun's too intense, the sun can be too intense for us, and it's not as bad. You know what I'm saying? And that's why people get sunburned, because they're getting too much sun. Their skin's not uh, able to handle the intensity of it. That's why they got to, you know, uh, put on a light something or keep a t-shirt on and put the sunscreen on. Whereas if you're darker, 